Hello everyone. Welcome back to our channel and thank you for checking out this video. For our tutorial today, we are going to share how to create a 3D walkthrough presentation in Revit. But before we start, if you are new to this channel, please don't forget to like, subscribe, click the notification bell and leave a comment down below. Thank you. Creating a walkthrough, or a flythrough presentation in Revit is actually basic if you have work on other software. What you are seeing now is a sample model from Autodesk, and we will be using this to create a sample walkthrough presentation. Let's go to the site plan. Then on the plan, you must have an idea of what you want your presentation to look like. The first thing we will do is to identify the path of our walkthrough. On the View tab, click on the 3D View drop-down button. Then select Walkthrough. Then on the plan, draw the camera path according to how you want it. In this tutorial, we are going to start at the bottom corner. Then at this corner of the model, we want to zoom out to end our walkthrough. So we are going to draw in this direction, and adjust the direction of the camera. Notice that there are play buttons at the ribbon. This helps to give us a preview of the walkthrough. Click Open Walkthrough. On this frame, we can adjust the crop view to widen the frame. Just drag the grip point. Click the play buttons to check the frames. This frame, notice that the roof is not full. On the properties, let's adjust the value with a far clip offset. Once it's good, let's continue to check the frames. OK, let's adjust the far clip offset for this frame also. And this one also. Let's click play to watch the entire walkthrough. It's looking good so far. Let's go back to the site plan. And I would like to adjust the angle of the camera. Then check back the frame. We can see that the far clip offset is not showing the full model. Alternatively, we can drag the extent of the camera to adjust the far clip offset. Then we check the frame again, and it looks fine. I am going to play the walkthrough again to check.
Okay, it seems fine to me. We are going to adjust the graphic display option to realistic. Notice that having it as realistic. It will be slower and may take time also to render. It will depend also on how powerful the computer you are using. We are going to change the graphic display to shaded. On the properties palette, under camera, there is a rendering settings. Then from the settings, you will be able to adjust the quality, lighting and background. But for this demo, we are just keeping it to draft and just use the default settings. The next thing we are going to do is show how to export the walkthrough. Click the File tab. Then select Export. Scroll down and select Image and Animations. Then select Walkthrough. Then from this dialog box, you can set the number of frames per second, then the dimensions of the frames. For the visual style, we are going to select realistic. Then select OK. Then we are going to choose a VI file for the format of the file. Then click Save. For the video compression, there are options also, but let's just leave it. Then click OK.
so it is currently exporting the walkthrough. After the exporting, here is the outcome of the walkthrough. But this is just a low resolution. Alright, that's it for now, you can try it now on the project that you are working on. Please comment down below if you have any questions or if you have any suggestions of a tutorial that we should do. See you again in our next video. Thank you for watching.